Hey everybody, and welcome to my guide on Parasite. I'm Momentine, although you may know me these days under the name of Bazooie or Ricardo Milos. Parasite is a very fun and powerful hero, but unfortunately, I'm seeing a lot of people play it suboptimally these days. In this guide, I'm going to cover some tips and tricks, as well as various skill builds and item builds on the hero. Additionally, I will also try to cover some of the subtle nuances that exist when playing a jungling hero. Let's jump right into it. These days, there are two viable item builds on Parasite. First, there is the mock build, in which your goal is to build a mock and farm the jungle as quickly as possible. And second, there's the Orosite build, in which you farm aura items such as Abyssal Skull and Soul Bulwark that allow you to push enemy towers as quickly as possible. The build I choose is determined by my carry. If my carry is buying a Rune Cleaver or a Thunderclaw to farm the jungle, I will opt to choose the aura build so that I can leave the jungle open for my carry to farm. On the flip side, if I have a roaming carry such as a Puppet Master or a Nighthound, I would choose the mock build to maximize my farm in the jungle. In this particular game, I choose the aura build despite not having a jungle farming carry, simply so that I can share the build with you guys. When it comes to skill builds, there's only one viable build. You want to max out your infest and your draining venom while skipping leech. You may think I'm crazy, but with the current hard camp locations, it is not recommended to gank. It is not gold or time efficient. Since we aren't ganking, Leech will not be skilled. Your goal is to reach level 7 as fast as possible, so that you can stay inside your creep indefinitely. Once you hit level 9, then you can level your ultimate. At level 10, you get your first point in Leech. At 11, another point in your ultimate. And then 12, 13, 14, you can continue with your Leech. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is get Ring of the Teacher and 2 Mana Potions. And I'm going to head to the jungle to scout out the area. I want to make sure the enemy team is not coming in here and where I got my camps. Now in this particular game, we have a very terrible lineup. Just a bunch of carries. So, you know, we just got to hope for the best. And hopefully I'll show you guys some good rotations in the jungle so you know what to do as Parasite. So let's see, we've got Flint Beastwood going bottom lane. Gunblade's probably gonna go top with Hammer. And they'll have, yeah, just a solo Flint bottom. Not sure. This is a new game. <laughs> got a Word Beast mid. This is uh, something else. The first camp I'm gonna want to take is this one. Because I need to make sure to sack the easy camp. I think that's what a lot of people forget to do as Parasite, or they just don't know to do. Um, there's a lot of XP and gold to be had here. And you kind of have time between spawns and cooldowns on your infest to take the easy camp. I'm gonna scout out any enemy movement. I don't think in this bracket anybody's gonna come over here. There might be two people bottom because low ranks don't like running suicides. But who knows, we'll see. So jungle, you always want to make sure to like look up for your lane, see where you can help. Um, by help, I mean you're not really going to go gank as Parasite. It's kind of a waste of your time to gank without level 4 infest. So we got a good spawn here, got the Vagabond. Let's kill this. And then we'll quickly head over to the easy camp. I was a little distracted and I didn't start over here, but luckily we got a good camp. And we're able to just head on over here. So in this case, we're just going to kill it. We're not going to bother stacking it. Since we can. Perfect. Let's hop out. And then now uh, we wait. Top in is Vulture Lord. The bottom is Bombardier Pebbles. This Flint's probably going to get dumpstered. Oh, we've got... That's nice. Hammerstorm with the child is coming to help him. Better than nothing. So here, we got a little bit of HP left. Let's just do a little bit of damage. Not that it really matters. Let's it over here. Take this hard camp. Hopefully we can kill this Catman Soldier in time. And then go stack the easy camp. Something I like to do is always position myself as close as I can preemptively so that I don't waste time like if I was fighting it in here 
then I'd waste time, you know, a couple seconds running from here to there. So we're gonna run here. Uh, just something to keep in mind. If your HP is getting low on your creep and you're gonna jump out of it, the creep aggro will reset. So make sure you have enough HP when you're trying to sack. A few mana pot and you... Okay, nobody saw that. <laughs> okay, so you don't wanna do that. But if you mana pot and you jump in a creep, um, your, the mana potion still goes off and you still get some mana. Unfortunately, I just wasted 50 gold, but you know, no biggie. We'll send a couple more mana potions. We're doing it live. So Minotaur is not good to kill these camps with. You can try to put in a couple hits here, but you never want to let your creep die to other creeps because then you don't get the gold or XP. To a particular build, you're going to max out Infest and Draining Venom. It's much stronger than leveling up your Q. Because your Q, your uh, whatever it's called, your leech is good for ganking. What you're not going to do is run from this camp all the way to the lane. Because that is a waste of your time. Your crew's probably going to die before you get there and it's just it's not good. Put in a bit more damage on this. We didn't make it in time to stack, but that's no big deal. I'll plug quickly. We don't have a good creep to take out these stacks yet. That's not a big deal. We'll get to it eventually. Let's try to make a call for a mid. He doesn't see this. Mid, careful. He's completely blind. That happens. Somehow he's not dead. I'm not sure how that happened. Yeah, we jump out. We can send another mana pot and the second piece for our Abyssal Skull. Now we have 10 seconds to kill this. Might not be enough time, so we want to make sure to kill them outside of the circle here. You can hold down the Alt key. Hold the Alt key down to see the spawn radius. So your team might ping you to come help, but you know, just do your own thing. You're going to help eventually. You're going to be a lot more valuable once you have items. I think a lot of people try to help too much. And they end up missing out on key timings on getting certain items and farm, and etc. Okay. There you go, level 6. Still not going to get my ult. You want to maximize your farm potential. Jump out. Get a mana pot, hop in this creep. So now, Vagabond leaders are the strongest creeps. They hit like insanely hard. They got a really good ability to use. I can't remember if there was a creep here. I think I killed it already. Oh, yeah, no big deal. So we almost have our Abyssal. Once we have Abyssal Skull and we're level seven, we're gonna start dealing a ton of damage and we can sustain infinitely, or indefinitely, in a creep because of the life steal. We go, so we can hit this a couple times and then hop into the other creep, making sure we're not dying to the creeps. If you do that, you're losing a ton of XP and gold. So at this point, we're level seven, our creep's not gonna die, and then we start hitting very hard. We can actually, I want to gank bottom, but Nobody down there. So I'm going to start taking the ancients. I'm not going to bother stacking this right now. That's oh, funny. Where be shot? It's going to help me in the jungle as well. We can take this and so then head on over to the other hard camp over here. So my opinion on jungling hero, if you're not out leveling like if you're oh he's got haste and nah, he can't really kill us let's just hit him so he's discouraged to gank other lanes so sorry as i was saying if you're not a level ahead of the minute in game you're doing it wrong at least one level so right now i'm level seven and it's still the six minute mark so we're doing well we're about to level eight that's good if you're like level five at like the seven minute mark you're, you're doing something wrong 
Oh, Mid's kind of getting ganked, but he's got his ult, so he's fine. And now we're looking for a Vagabond leader, if possible. We can sack this camp at this point. Once we get the Vagabond leader, we're going to head bottom and annihilate the tower. There it is. Perfect. Here we go. So we'll pick this up as soon as we kill the other creeps. Jump out of it. Next item we're going to pick up is the Soul's Bulwark. We can send a piece to ourselves. And we're pretty much never going to leave this creep. The only time we're going to leave this creep is actually when we get our souls. But unfortunately, you can't switch these souls from positive to negative while you're in a creep. Now, unfortunately, our bottom lane just died. Might be a little hard to go push, but we can always head mid instead, which is what I'm going to do. Nobody's TPing into middle. Maybe we can set up a gank. Not really, because, you know, can't really gank with the War Beast. So you can just see how hard auto attacks hit. Almost kill them. Now we're just going to pressure this star. Now that we're nine, we get our ultimate. Let's take out these creeps. Getting into a catapult is strong. It's really good at pushing towers. But Vagabond Leader lets you fight uh, the enemies. So we're just going to kill him here with auto talks. Oh, whoops. We didn't get those kills, but you know, we got a double tap. Which ends up working out. Because now we can send Souls Bulwark to us. Hopefully we find another Vagabond leader. We can switch the Souls Bulwark to positive or er, negative here. And we can go push bottom tower. Let's see. Uh, Minotaur is fine. So I'm still a level. Well, I'm my level is equal to the minute, but I'm about to level 10. So it's pretty good. GPM is sitting at 380. So this build, you're going to get less GPM than Mach. But you're doing so much more for your team, in my opinion. Early game, anyway. Now that we have the souls, the next item kind of up in the air. I like to build whatever my team needs. I saw that there's two people bottom. They're going to try to gank. Flint, we can try killing these guys. Come. Yeah, come, 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 come. Oh. Kill pink. Kill pink. Unfortunately, my Flint is... Terribly scared of this, Lejo. I just keep. <laughs> so if Flint would have used his Q, we could have easily killed. But low rank players, all good. Want to keep pressuring this? Oh, that's a free kill. Okay. Mm, yeah, I can't really chase this guy. You can't pick up boots. And you know what? In fact, I'm going to show you guys a little trick. If you're on this side of the jungle, you can just buy TP and boots. Teleport. Okay, I was supposed to teleport to this tower. That was a misclick. <laughs> Use the boots and then sell them back. You want to get back to your hard camp. Another good creep. So at this point... Don't have a lot of HP out of like as Parasite or a lot of mana. So I'm just going to continue farming the jungle while I passively regenerate HP. So we're level 11, making some good time here. Look at bottom, our War Beast is doing well. He might kill this Legio. If his ult keeps going, he got him. Good. Now we keep farming. This would be a good opportunity to push bot tower, but I'm kind of far. I'm just going to keep farming. Looks like he is in trouble bottom. Oh, he teleported up. Good. I'm going to go harass this nomad. He's got a haste that I could steal. 
if he used it. Mm, he's pretty low. But we can push the tower at this point. If I had a Vagabond, you'd see how much more powerful it is, but this will do for now. Arachna, Arachna head in, but... Arachna head in, but... Like you said, Arachna's heading bottom. I'm gonna scout out, because he can't really kill me. Looks like he ran to the tower over there. So at a certain point, it starts to become, or it starts to get hard to stay ahead of the minute of the game in terms of levels. That's probably unclear. I'm level 12, it's 12 minutes into the game, about to be 13 minutes, I'm going to start falling behind. That's just only natural, because the XP is harder to, to get at this point, especially if you're just pushing towers. So now, since I see two people in middle, I want to transition towards top and start getting those towers. And item-wise, I think I'm gonna go greedy this game and pick up a mock. So we're kinda gonna fuse both builds together. This guy's gonna die unless he ults. Almost got him. The only annoying thing as Parasite, like say I wanted to push top, I'd have to run all the way up there. Where are we doing well? Nice. If I wanted to push top, I'd have to run all the way there. Oh, this should be a free kill on Pebbles. There we go. Tower is gonna be deniable. So you don't want to stay out of a creep for too long. Um, where are you going? Um, Mark? Yes, I am. So that's always good to communicate with your team. Let them know where you're going. Again, I'm gonna buy a TP. I'm looking for a vagabond leader. Once I get that, it's gonna be. Much, much easier to push. Hopefully I can make it here in time to stack. Mm, no, not going to. Enemy team is grouping up middle lane. You guys want to keep an eye for that. Top lane looks like they're pushing. I might honestly head back bottom and continue to push. Yeah, I can head on over. I'm coming. Looks like he wants to try to get a kill. It might be hard with the war beast, honestly. Oh, he's in. It looked like he needs me. I'm gonna go be annoying and push bottom lane. Looks like our team just died top. Not ideal. Here I'm gonna jump out. I don't want this catapult to take damage before I jump in it. Looks like it. <clears throat> So you'll see how much damage these catapults actually do. It's pretty ridiculous. Kinda sucks that bomb showed up. Cause that tower would have fallen instantly. We can be patient and keep pushing. I mean, I don't know why he did that, but we're not gonna question it. Once again, I'm gonna head back here. Okay, you can get it. I'm gonna go jungle. I need a creep. At this point, I'm really close to having my mock. So I'll get the mock and then I'm gonna head top. 
Still no Vagabond leader. Getting kind of unlucky with those spawns, but... I'm still doing well. I'm gonna try to make it here in time to sock. I should do it. There's a Minotaur that spawned there. You can tell by the aura. There we are. We got the mock. Sent ourselves a TP as well. Team's putting in a lot of work. This game is good. Well, we can push with the Vulture Lord. He's not as strong as the Vagabond, but he does have the armor aura. So that on top of our Abyssal Skull, which gives another 5 armor. It's going to help take down towers. Nice one, Hammer. <laughs> cool, we're level 16. Let's look for a Vagabond over here. None there. Let's just stack this. Hopefully a Vagabond spawned up here. I just want to show... There we go. There it is. Good. I turn off my mock. I don't want to damage my own Vagabond too much before I jump into it. Turn it back on and it's top in. Okay, cool. Now I'll push top tower. Let's see how quick it falls. Grabbing their catapult is a good idea. But Vagabond is still very strong. And it's better for killing heroes as well. If you see your creep wave coming, you don't want to let your creep wave meet their creep wave at the tower. Trying to block this creep wave. Oh, these guys are in. Okay, well, we're going to have to try to kill one of them here. So we can switch our souls to positive, and we're going to live here. None of them had stuns. I was just reading the situation. I can pick up striders, switch my souls back to positive, or negative. Keem's going to keep pushing. We create a lot of space there. We got a kill. I think that was a uh, ideal situation for us. Head back to our hard camp now. We're going to try to find a creep. And by creep, I mean uh, Vagabond Leader. Obviously, there's going to be a creep there. Unfortunately, Congor does a lot of damage to creeps. And you can't really go solo it, even though you might hit hard and have lifesteal. Congor just kind of destroys you. I don't, I don't understand these games. I don't know why people don't like the ward. I don't know either, buddy. Okay. At this point, we can keep farming. There's still that tower top I want to get. Yep, sure. I'm coming. Oh, he wants to push top. I want to go help him. So I'm going to finish killing these two camps. Hoping for a Vagabond. Didn't get it. Oh, well. And let's go. Uh, next item, again, up in the air. Doesn't really matter what we get at this point. If the enemy team picks up a lot of Valk Bones and you're farming well, then I enjoy getting the Staff. Staff is very strong if you get it early. That would be instead of the mock. Legionnaire, I'm just canceling PKs. Nomad just doesn't see me, I guess. Chase the pebbles down with the mock. And that's probably going to be GG. Skeleton's also pretty good to push with. Well, there you are. That's a game of Parasite. Alright, well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something. Take it easy.